Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to teach you what is a critical point for a function with two variables. Uh, to start with, what you should remember that we are looking for um, relative max mean of a function with two variables that's the goal we have but well wh where should we start with what is the um what is the strategy we should take so the strategy is set up by this very nice mathematical fact you call it theorem proposition or whatever you like so it says uh, well let us start with the function which is differentiable then well if a point is a relative max relative maximum or relative minimum then this nice thing happens that f per first partial derivative of f with respect to x at a b vanishes that's not all the first partial derivative of f with respect to y also vanishes at a b so this fact tells us what tells us that if you're looking for relative max mean better to start with points at which the function the partial derivatives of the function both partial derivatives vanishes at those points well so these points at which the first partial derivatives vanish are then important point then why don't we call them something this is the definition so what is the definition uh, a point a b is a critical point of differentiable function f x y if well this happens the first partial derivative of f at a b vanishes and first partial derivative with respect to y at a b vanishes that is the definition so if someone asks you to find partial uh, sorry critical points of a function with two variables what you need to do is well first one it's first partial derivatives with respect to x and with respect to y and then differentiate them with just uh, and, and solve, set them equal to zero and solve them the x and y's you find from these equations you set an equation and you find it solve it and then you, you make the points a and b those points are critical points uh, before i move to an example let me just say uh, a, a remark very important remark that uh, recall that uh, for a differentiable function f of x with one variable a critical point c is a point where the 
the first derivative of the function at that point is zero. So this was the definition of critical points with function for function with one variable. You had it in 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 introductory calculus, but now here you see that for the for a function with two variables, we not only well there there is no one first derivative. What is here first derivative? Those are first partial derivatives, both in, with respect to x and both and y. So you have to uh, make sure that those partial derivatives are zero at those points. So those are the critical points. Let's do an example. Find all critical points of this function f of x y is x squared plus 3 y squared <coughs> uh, minus 2x plus 4 so the function is given, this is the function, and the question says what are the critical points for this one. Well, okay, so based on the definition, the critical points are the points which makes the first partial derivatives, both of them, zero. So to be able to find the critical points, we need to find what are the partial derivatives of f. So I'm differentiating with respect to x. Uh, wherever you see x, the derivative, you just find the derivative, x squared, the derivative would be 2x plus 3y squared, it is in y, and we are differentiating with respect to x, so that would give us a good round 0, minus uh, derivative of 2x with respect to x is 2, and derivative of 4 with respect to x is 0, so we have 2x minus 2. How about f of y? Well, f y, you differentiate with respect to y. x squared with respect to y, the derivative is 0. Plus uh, 3 times y squared with respect to y, the derivative is 2y. Minus 2x, the derivative with respect to y is 0. And then derivative of 4 with respect to y is 0. So this is 6. So these are the first partial derivatives. Now, to be able to find the critical points, we should set these guys equal to uh, zero. Means that we are going to have two x minus two equal to zero, and six y equal to zero. Two x minus two equals to zero gives me two x equals to two. Then x is equal to two over two, which is one. Six y equals to zero is y equals to zero. So the point which makes both f x and f y zero has the first component, the x component, equal to one, and y component equal to zero. Such a point is just then uh, 1, 0 is the only critical point of fx. So again, to find critical point for, for a function with more than Two, for, with two variables, you have to first find first partial derivatives, fx, fy, set them equal to zero, solve them, and find all x, y's, which make these two guys zero. Put them in a point form, and that, those are the critical points of your function.